it's been raining a lot lately. Uh, I don't know if this is normal because I don't remember it raining this much at this time of the year. Not complaining though, I really love the rain. And I like the smell of when it rains. You know, the, the smell of when it rains. Okay, let's paint. Hi everyone, it's Waze. So today I have a different type of video for you guys. I thought it'd be fun if I did the cheap watercolor challenge, even though it's been long overdue. Like, honestly, I think I bought these like one year ago at this point, but I still really want to do it, even though no one else is doing it anymore. I think it's a really fun challenge and I, I have to use these, like I bought them. By the way, I'm Brazilian, I live in Brazil, so this is all in Portuguese and I'm assuming this is a Brazilian brand. So it's Molin, oh wait, it, it's the Molin Super Art Story watercolor kit. Now these were quite obviously made for children, um, obviously since they were so cheap. I think if I convert the price to dollars, it would be three dollars, about three dollars. I think that's pretty cheap. And usually when you paint with supplies that you know didn't cost much and you don't really, you're not really attached to, you can get really loose with the painting. And I don't know, maybe something really interesting will come out of this. So yeah, I'm gonna be using these. They have 12 colors. I'm gonna be swatching them in a moment. It also comes with a brush, so I'm gonna be trying to use this one. <laughs> but if it's just impossible to use it i'm gonna use this brush which is by again a brazilian brand it's keramik keramik it's by the brazilian brand keramik and i really like this brush even though it's so cheap the quality is really amazing it keeps its point no matter what and it's made of synthetic uh bristles so yeah i really like this brush i think if i convert it again it'd be like less than two bucks uh, so yeah, that's a pretty good price for a really good brush like this. And for the paper, I'm gonna be using the Canson Mixed Media Sketchbook paper. Now this is the cheapest one that I could find in my paper drawer because I really wasn't feeling like spending more money on supplies for this video, even though this was so cheap already, but uh, I'm gonna be using this paper. I honestly think it's really good. I used it for a few studies before. And I'm going to be doing the swatches on the back of this paper. I looked it up and apparently in the US this one costs $12, but I think if, we, if we're going to like divide the price of the whole sketchbook by, you know, per page, it gets quite cheap. So that's what I'm going to be using. So we have, I wouldn't call this cheap, but like affordable. Uh, mixed media paper. We have cheap watercolors and a cheap brush uh, and an even cheaper brush <laughs> inside here. So yeah, let's try to see what I can do with these. Hmm, I really like this pink. Um, even though I know it's not gonna be as saturated as you know the color that's showing up on the pan, but there we go. Full look of all the colors.
I just wanted to show you how chalky they are. I'm gonna swipe my finger on one of those colors and as you can see, my finger is clean. And once I swipe it on the red, I just have red on my finger. Same with the green. Just, <laughs> it's like eyeshadows. <laughs> I'm swatching out an eyeshadow palette like oh my god <laughs> so yeah um, these definitely don't stay on the paper they're very chalky and yeah I mean it's, it's three bucks <laughs> three bucks for watercolors you can't really expect much so yeah let's just get something and paint with these